So a lot of people have been needing help adding textures to Spider-Man Remastered for PC. And we're going to be using the SMPC tool in order to do that. And so you can edit your favorite textures and add them to the game as you see fit. This is not for models, this is only for textures. You're going to need the SMPC tool. You're going to need spider text. And you're also going to need a photo editing app like Photoshop or Paint.net, which is a free option. So the first thing you're going to do is open up SMPC tool. And once that opens up, you're going to head to uh, file. Uh, it's going to say no project at first, but you, you're going to head to file to change that real quick. Uh, you select asset archive folder, and then you're going to navigate to your Spider-Man remastered folder. And then you're going to head to your steam library head to steam apps. You're going to head to common and click on Spider-Man uh, remastered. You open up the asset archive. It's going to take you to all these uh, numbers and letters and stuff. That's that's where you want to be. Uh, the folders up there are just my own. I've done some modding already. This is just a new tutorial. And once it says successfully set, you're going to hit OK. And after that, you're going to see all of them pop up on the side. These are all the textures and models for the game. You're going to navigate to the uh, GOOSOO1 and watch out for uh, 0114 or 014, 015, 016, because you're going to need to look at those just in case. I'm going to go to the 001 folder, open it up, head to characters, open that up with a plus, and then you're going to head down to the hero section. And then you scroll down to the character you want to modify. These are all the suits. I'm going to be modding spider punk today. That's the texture I like to mess with the most because I like that. I mean, that's my favorite suit. That's my opinion. You head down to find spider punk. You open it up. There's a texture drop down right below that. You click that. And these are all the textures for the uh, character. Once you navigate to the textures for the character, you're going to find the texture you want to mess with. Of course, I'm going to be messing with the red parts of the suit today. I'm not going to mess with the mask. It's just going to be like for the body and the arms and stuff like that. So I'm going to navigate to what I believe is hero underscore Spider-Man underscore punk and then red, and it's going to say red at the end. You're going to look for the underscore C file. I just say underscore C means color, so that's what you're going to mess with. You're going to right click on that and then hit extract assets. And once you hit extract assets, it's going to take you to your asset archive folder. Um, I'm making a new folder just to help you guys out. So I'm going to name it. Uh, no, I'm going I'm to I'm tutorial tutorial video. That's what I'll do. And uh, once you make that new folder, you're going to save it to there. You're going to save the texture to there. And now that is the low quality texture uh, for no, like low res for lower grade uh, PCs and with lower hardware that you, you know, can't run it as hard. So what you're going to do is go look for the HD fi file texture that can be found within the 014 through 016 folders. I know spider punk is in 016, so I'm going to open that up, go to the same process characters, hero, and then look for spider punk. Uh, there it is, textures, and find the same the same name. It's going to be the same name you were looking for. It's going to be hero spider man punk red underscore C still. Uh, you're going to save that texture, but I'm going to put underscore HD after the C. You need to do this to identify which is the HD texture for spider text to work. And once you did that, it'll say asset has been uh, extracted. And you're all good and you want to head over to where it is saved so navigate back to it i'm just going to use this folder that i know is connected to the asset archive navigate there go to the folder you save them in uh, extend that a bit so i can see it better you'll know that's the hd one because the size is a lot bigger than the other one uh and then i'm going to make this a lot easier so i can see what file type it is uh Let's go to out oh, area of content. Perfect. Okay. So once I know that, uh, this is the low quality texture and I know that, uh, this is the HD texture. Uh, these are what all we need in order to create the, uh, editable PNG that we're going to do in order to change the way the colors look in the game. So you're going to ha have spider text open. I'm going to move these over to make it easier to see. Uh, you're going to drag and drop the low quality texture into spider text first. So you click drag and drop it and it'll make the file for you this is the png you're going to edit it'll automatically put it into the folder with the hd and the low quality texture in it 
Uh, so what you're going to do is open up your photo editing uh, software. I'm going to use paint.net because I know a lot of people don't want to get Photoshop. So I'm going to uh, not drag and drop. Wait a minute. You can't. I mean, you probably could. I don't know. But basically open paint.net. And then you're going to drag and drop the P and G in there. It's going to look like this. And how I'm going to do this, you open it up. And what I like to do is I'm going to use adjustments in the top left and change the hue to like just a different color just to make this quick. So go to adjustments and then you're going to click uh, hue and saturation. I'm just going to mess with the hue. Let's pick like a, like a good color, not like a green, like maybe a purple, a bit darker than that. Almost like a, oh yeah, like like a, a little, a little bit of like a dark blue ish purplish. Uh, let's turn the saturation down to that. Let's darken it a bit, maybe. Um, yeah, yeah, that'll do. And then you're going to go and save the file. Once you save the file, you can replace it with the, uh, you know, the PNG in the other folder, make sure it's the same folder. It's only going to show PNGs though. I'm going to replace it because you can get this file whenever you just have to run it through spider text again, press okay. Uh, you can minimize that, close it if you want to, honestly. Um, and yeah, it should be there. You can tell because the color is different, obviously. Then you're going to put that, drag it right back onto spider text, and then it's going to give you your new uh, custom files. You don't have to worry about any of this. It just means it worked. As long as there's no red X, you're good. And essentially, that is all you really have to do to get the, f the textures you need. And so it's going to uh, say custom at the end of it. You see how it says custom at the end, like watch like right here. It says red underscore custom texture. That's the low quality one and the HD one should be right there. I, I just look for the timestamp to make sure I know which one it is. It's going to be the latest timestamp and this is the HD one, obviously. OK, once that is done, you are going to want to go back and open up the SMPC tool. You're going to head over to uh, uh, you're going to go back to file. I don't know why my uh, asset archive disconnected essentially, but it's easier to reconnect. You just reconnect it, uh, navigate to the original textures you looked for. So we're going to be looking for that Spider-Man underscore punk red underscore C uh, file that we looked for in the first place. Navigate the same way in characters, hero, spider punk. And once we find that, we are going to head down to the Spider-Man punk red there we go underscore c and we're going to hit replace and then we're going to go to tutorial where our files are at and find the one we just did the custom one you're going to find the custom low low quality because that is this is the 001 folder and then you're going to go down to the 016 folder or whatever your high definition texture is stored you're going to open that up once that's opened up you navigate the same way go to characters go to hero Look for the suit you want to mod. And once you do that, you go to textures, find it, find the name, red underscore C, replace asset mod. Then you're going to find the HD one. This isn't it. This is the look for the timestamp. That's my timestamp. That's how it is. That's how I do it. And there we go. It's replaced. Once that is done, you're going to hit create a mod. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it, you know, just either tutorial mod or just, uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever you want. It's just <sighs> actually I'm a little trying to make sure I have it. There we go. Okay. Uh, spider punk tutorial. There we go. And you're going to create the mod. And once you create the mod, you can just save it to the tutorial video. If you want to save it to that same folder, you've been saving everything else. Hit okay. And then you're going to go to mod manager. Uh, this is a mod I already did. Don't worry about that. Uh, and add that mod. It's going to sit. You're going to click add. And they're just going to go and find the mod in the folder you've been using. And then you're going to click install mods once, you, once it pops up on the little uh, sidebar there. It's going to take a bit. Don't worry. It takes uh, like 10 seconds for me. I don't know how long it'll take for you. It depends on your PC. There it is. And once that's done, you can go over and I launched game modded. This is how I do it. You don't have to do it this way. I think you can just open it from Steam if you want to. But I like to launch game mod. It just gives me a piece of my own peace of mind. But it's completely up to you.
Oh, and the game should be starting now. Yep, modded game launch uh, has started and it should pop up. There we go, hit play. Get my controller connected because that's how I play. And essentially skip all the, you know, ads at the beginning. So interactive entertainment presents. Skip. Gonna hit profile, continue your game. Uh, normally you would have to navigate to your skin. I'm already on spider punk because I play him all the time. So once he shows up, it should be different color, just like we wanted. Oh, yep. There we go. As you remember before, I didn't do the head. It's completely, that's just how I, I didn't really feel like doing the head right now, but you know, uh, this, uh, it, this worked out as you can see, the colors are changed, uh, to a sort of purpley, but that could be due to lighting. But like in more neutral lighting, it will look more dark blue as design. But of course, uh, there's a bunch of other texture work uh, you'd have to work on in order to change, I guess, like glossiness or matte. Uh, if you wanted to look more matte, then you would have to. That's a completely different uh, beast to tackle. But yeah, overall, this is uh, how it came out. And it looks pretty good if I do say so myself. And that's about it. That's all you have to do in order to change textures in Spider-Man Remastered. And I hope this helped a lot of people out. Uh, I started doing this like yesterday and it's it's gotten a lot easier. I had to start off with like the whole process of going through like four different programs, but they streamlined it into one. Thank goodness. And that is how you use spider text uh, in partner, of course, with SMPC tool. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and I hope you, uh, you know, have fun, have fun modding. Thank you. All right. Goodbye.